Ever been stuck wanting to code, but all of your work is on another machine miles away? Well, what if I told you that you could access all of your code anytime, anywhere, securely with just VS Code? Stick around. I'm about to make your coding life a lot easier. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jeremy, and this channel is all about helping you to become a better developer with the latest tools and techniques. Today, we're diving into how you can remotely access your computer using only VS Code. Before we get started, let's talk about exactly what this feature is. We will be using VS Code's Remote Tunnel Access. It allows you to access your computer and its resources from anywhere using only VS Code. For example, if I enable VS Code's Tunnel Access feature on my office computer, I can then connect to it from home and develop on it. I could also access it on an iPad using VS Code in a browser, but more on that later. So now let's talk about what this feature is not. It's not remote desktop access like TeamViewer or Chrome Remote Desktop. You will not be able to control the mouse and keyboard or run applications unless they run in the terminal. All right, now that we've got that out of the way, let's get it set up. There are two ways to turn on remote tunnel access. The first is to come down to the accounts menu and click turn on remote tunnel access. The second is to open the command prompt and search for remote tunnel. And we can see it's already here. We're gonna click on turn on remote tunnel access. Now it's asking us if we want to turn it on for this session or install as a service. If you choose turn on for this session, you'll be able to access your computer remotely until you close this VS Code instance. Basically, if you want this to be a one-off, choose this option. You can always go back and enable it again. If you choose install as a service, you'll always be able to access your computer remotely as long as your user account is logged in. Choose this if you want to access your computer indefinitely. For this demo, I'm just going to choose turn on for this session. Now, since I'm already signed in with GitHub, I can just choose my GitHub account here. If you're not signed in, you may want to sign in with Microsoft or sign in with GitHub. Now we see that we get a pop-up that says copy browser link to the clipboard or show extension. This gives us a link that we can paste into the browser and access our machine. Show extension takes us to the extension that we would use to access VS Code on another computer. Now that we have VS Code Remote Tunnel Access enabled, let's talk about how to access it. So the first way is to copy the link that it gives you, take it to a browser in another computer, and just paste it in the browser. If you've already clicked off of that box or it's disappeared, don't worry, you can just open up the command prompt and search for Remote Tunnel and choose Copy Browser URI to Clipboard. So here we are in Google Chrome and I've just pasted the link that it copied to the clipboard and I'm just gonna hit enter. Here we can see that it opened up VS Code in the browser and it's asking us which account did we use to start the tunnel. When I started this tunnel, I was logged in with my GitHub account. So I'm gonna choose that. Now it's asking me to sign in. And now that I'm signed in, it's asking us if we want to trust the authors of the files in this folder. Well, since it's my computer, I'm just gonna trust it. And here we can see that it's opened up the home directory of my user on the computer that I started the tunnel in. If I wanna open up a project, I'll just come up to this hamburger menu, go to file and choose open folder. And I'm just gonna open up the dark roast theme that I created in a previous video. We'll click okay, and there we are. I now have that project open in VS Code in a browser and I could develop on it as if I was on the other computer. Another thing to note is if I open up the terminal using control back tick, we can see that the terminal is running on the MacBook that I started the VS Code tunnel in, meaning I could execute this code and it would be running on that computer. Now, what if you've drove home from the office and forgot to get the link? Well, that's not really a problem either. Just open up your browser and type in VS code.dev and hit enter. Now I'm signed in in this browser, so you may have to sign in, but once you do, just click on connect to tunnel. I'm gonna choose my GitHub account, and then it loads the computers that I have access to. So I'll just choose my MacBook, and we'll give it a second here, and now we are connected. We can see in the bottom left corner, editing on my MacBook. Now you'll notice if you open up the Explorer, it didn't open up the home directory like it did with the link, but we can still just choose open folder and come and choose our project. So here is our theme files. We'll click OK, and now we're ready to edit our project just like before. So I just noticed that the path to the directory is in the URL. And if we look at the link that was copied to the clipboard, it's users Jeremy, my home directory. So what if we tried typing in code slash YouTube? Yep, and it opens up that directory from my MacBook. So essentially what this means is you could bookmark exactly the path you wanna to navigate to. So remember how I said you could develop on your iPad? Just follow these instructions in the browser on your iPad. 
or any other mobile device. Now let's talk about how to remotely access your computer using VS Code Desktop. So here we are in VS Code on the desktop, and we just need to install an extension called Remote Tunnels. We'll just click on Extensions and search for it, Remote Tunnels. And here we can see it's the first result. I'm just gonna click on Install, and now the extension's installed. So now we have a new icon over here for the Remote Explorer. I'm gonna click on that, and we can see here that we need to sign in. So I'm just gonna click on this arrow, choose allow, and it redirected me to the browser, and I'll just go ahead and sign in there. And now I'm signed in, and we can see under tunnels, we have two options. We can connect to it in the current window, or we can connect to it in a new window. I just wanna use this current window, so I'll click the arrow. And now in the bottom left corner, we can see that I'm connected to my MacBook Pro. Also, I can come over to the file explorer, click on open folder, and just like when we was in the browser, I can open up a directory and click OK. I'll go ahead and choose yes, I trust the authors, and now I'm ready to develop. Also, just like before, if I open up the terminal, we can see it's the terminal from the MacBook that I'm connected to. And that's a wrap with remote coding on VS Code. If you're looking for even more mobility in your development process, check out this other video where I go over GitHub code spaces. It's another great way to develop on the go. Before you go, let me share something I'm really excited about. I've got a weekly newsletter that dives into all things development, from the latest tools to essential coding techniques. If you're interested, check out the link in the description below. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.